All right guys, so today I'm gonna be uh, coating my floor mats just to give you uh, an example of what this product can do. And the product I'm talking about is Angel Wax's Shield Fabric. And this product here is something you spray onto your fabrics and get it inside all the fibers and then let it dry for a day or so. And when you come back, it's very hydrophobic so that way when you spill something, it will sit on top of the fibers and not soak in. So you have time to get there and clean it or soak it up. It will also clean easier. And these products can be used like on your shoes or whatever fabric you have, you can use on your upholstery for you, whatever you got. So I'm gonna show you how to use this. If you want, you can uh, vacuum your floor mats first. You can use a cleaner, like a fabric cleaner like Gion has here. Um, and then apply this afterward. You wanna apply this onto a dry material, okay? So you don't want your material wet, you want it dry. So let's get into it, I'm gonna show you how I apply it. Now you can use a, a sprayer like this, and that's fine, but I'm gonna use a, an air, like a little paint sprayer uh, and a air compressor, and I'll show you how I do that. get this product and you can spray it on by hand like that I don't really like doing that I want more pressure so I'm gonna pour it inside here Okay guys, and I've used about two ounces on this floor mat here. I saturate them pretty good because I do step on these all the time. So I've used about two ounces or so, and I saturate the floor mats really well because I step on them and I put them through a lot of wear and tear. So I don't play around. Two ounces or so on there, sprayed in real good. And all you gotta do is let this dry. So I'm gonna leave it out overnight. Tomorrow I'll come back and I'll show you what it does. And then afterward, I'll put, I put water in here and I'm just gonna run it through. To rinse out the sprayer. 
and you can put a little bit of APC or some type of cleaning liquid as well. <clears throat> All right guys, so it's been one day, less than 24 hours. They feel pretty dry. I'm gonna pour some water on both of them. They've both been treated. I just treated both the fronts. Why just do one and not the other? So let's try it out. All right, so we saw what the um, Angel Wax Shield will do, and that's pretty awesome. I wanna see what the 303 Fabric Guard is gonna do on this. And uh, there's a big price difference in the two products, but I wanna see how water repellent this will make it, and if it's up to the challenge, because the Angel Wax worked really well. Let's do it. All right, so here I'm gonna treat these floor mats with the 303 Fabric Guard, and I'm gonna use an extra ounce to ounce and a half on each mat, being that this is a cheaper cost product, and I don't want anyone to say I'm favoring Angel Wax. And also, I'm gonna give 303 an even better advantage by using more to see if they can equal what Angel Wax has already accomplished. So I sprayed these two with the uh, 303 Fabric Guard. I'm gonna let these dry out for a day and we'll be back and check the water repellency on these ones. All right guys, well, these are the two mats that I coated with the 303 Fabric Coat. So I'm gonna pour some water on there. I'll let you see the hydrophobics and uh, you know, you can compare the two between that and the Angel Wax. So it is nice and hydrophobic, but it does have some areas where it soaks in a little faster. 
and uh, you know, decent. All right, guys, so did you like the video? If you did, hit that like and subscribe button and press the notifications bell so you get all the new videos we're putting out. Today, we're talking about fabric coatings or fabric guards and specifically two different kinds with big uh, differences between them. We got Angel Wax Shield and we've got 303 Fabric Guard. Now, one of the big differences is price. This is a 500 milliliter bottle and 250 milliliters of Angel Wax sells for about $26. So I would assume let's just go with $50 for a 500 milliliter bottle. A gallon of 303 Fabric Guard is somewhere around $50 on Amazon, 50 to 60 bucks, okay? These two products, what, what is the big difference when I apply them? Well, all I did was one coat through my spray paint canister set up on my air compressor one coat let it dry 24 hours and very repellent angel wax is fantastic and super strong okay the water stands right up on this and rolls right off this one i used a little extra product and i did one coat the same way as this one except i used extra product and Sure, it has some repellency, but nothing close to the Angel Wax. The Angel Wax is far superior. A lot of the water that I poured on these uh, test mats sank into it, where Angel Waxes didn't really sink into it. I could roll the water around. It was fine. So uh, a big difference in power and strength and repellency. The winner goes to Angel Wax in this case. Now, I'm sure you could get there with the 303 if you apply multiple layers or coats of this. The only problem is you gotta let it dry in between layers. So now you're killing a lot of time and you're waiting and waiting and waiting. So if you're doing somebody's car and you're in a time crunch, definitely need the Angel Wax. If you're doing your own car and you have, you know, four days to wait, get the 303 Aerospace. Cause you can do this, wait a day, spray another layer, wait a day, spray another layer. But if your time is money, Angel Wax is your go-to Guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Get you some fabric coatings and you're gonna love it. Have a great day.